Hello there, and welcome to Isaac's Nature Channel and Entomology. This is Anterena polyphemis, Actias luna, Samia cynthia, Papilio crescent, Dianus plexippus, Linfalis antiopa, and my favorite, Agraulis vanillae, or the gulf fertility. Butterflies and moths are a true passion to me. I was 11 when I started my first collection. I used to collect them in little curtain boxes like these. As you can see, there isn't much space for putting your specimens compared to the other boxes that I use. Here is an example of the larger boxes made of wood that I use. My first and oldest insect that I've ever collected is actually this beetle here. And in these two collections, I actually identify all of my butterflies and insects and moths. Here you can see a little piece of paper which I will identify them. This is Colias philodes or the clouded sulfur, which would be this one. Insect collecting and entomology in general is really a passion to me. As I said earlier, I've been collecting them for a long time and I really love the beautiful colors that they all have. The most colorful beetle I have here is a six-spotted tiger beetle. You'll usually see those around sand or gravel in grasses, and they will fly away when you try to, to trap them. They're really difficult to try and capture. The most colorful butterfly is here, Agraulis vanillae, and it is actually my favorite butterfly. You can see all the bright colors, and if I take a specimen, you can see under the beautiful silver shiny spots on its body. There are so many different species of insects, it's incredible. And if you think that this is a large collection, let me tell you, I'm just getting started. In the wild, I collect a maximum of two specimens per species, usually male and female. Here you can see the luna moth, Actias luna. Now, I've got lots of these specimens, I've got about eight of them, but I raised them, and since it was the middle of winter, I could not release them into the wild. They would have died anyway. You can see these polyphemus moths, these polyphemus moths, Anterina polyphemus. These I found dead. When I find a butterfly or moth or insect already dead, I won't hesitate to put it in my collection since I'm not really changing anything um, in nature. Since the moth is already dead, Instead of letting it decompose, I put in a collection and make its beauty eternal. This YouTube channel is pretty young, only about two years old. I've only got 61 subscribers at the moment, so don't hesitate to subscribe if you want to motivate me to make other videos and continue entomology. Also, be sure to subscribe and share to your friends um, all the beautiful things. If you have any friends that are into entomology, and when I get started on a collection, I've got lots of pointers that I can show them. Be sure to like the videos that you like the most, so that I know what you want. If you're new to the channel, then welcome! My name is Isaac, I make lots of cool insect videos, and as I say always, I will see you next time.